Hey Programming 11, uh, welcome to our course. We're gonna have a great year this year and I'm recording this video just to give you an idea of, I guess, wh who I am, <laughs> what I look like, but also just to let you know uh, what this course is all about. Um, so this is Programming 11. It is um, not required that you know anything previously about programming, but if you do, that won't hurt you at all. Uh, we're gonna be exploring uh, programming from the ground up. We're gonna start uh, with the fundamentals of programming and we'll be working through uh, the Java programming language. Java is the most popular language in the world. I mean, I guess it's top three at least. Like it's, uh, it's, in, it's in the runnings for the top uh, programming language in the world. And it's uh, also the programming language that the AP exam is done in. So we offer that here at uh, Lord Bing and so that's why I've chosen to teach Java. So you kind of learning Java all the way through if you want to take the AP course as well. Uh, also, it's just huge in the industry. Lots of people use it for all sorts of things. Uh, famously, Minecraft, uh, the original Minecraft was written in Java. We have the Android operating system I'm recording on my phone right now with uh, is all done in Java. So many things are done in Java. So it's a great programming language to learn. Uh, we are going to be doing Java through something called processing, which is a graphical environment um, that uh, will allow you to build interactive visual projects, not just sort of text-based projects that standard Java excels at. So uh, it's going to open up a few extra doors for us. But make no mistake, what you're learning is exactly what you'd be learning about um, with, with Java. It's just going to have the word processing uh, attached to it. So this is a project-based course, and we're going to be going through uh, the year where we're going to have various projects where we're going to take a look at and each project is designed to teach you a new set of concepts. So the projects are going to be usually um, framed around some interesting product that you're going to produce. We'll start off with something simple like drawings and animations and we'll get into creating things like games, um, software like uh, paint, program, that kind of stuff. And even though we're making kind of fun games and stuff, it's the exact same fundamentals uh, anybody learns about computer programming. And so I hope that you'll enjoy the project-based approach to the course. And in, in the past, I've been teaching the processing in Java this way, I don't know now, six, seven years, uh, five, five, six years, we'll say. Uh, and it's been phenomenal. I think students have really enjoyed it in the past, and you, I'm hoping you'll also have a great time with it. So. I'm gonna have some stuff for you to take a look at on the Teams. So after watching this video, uh, you're probably already in Teams and that's how you found this video. So just go down and take a look at some of the links I have. It'll show you how you can get processing. Uh, there'll be a video about uh, what processing is all about, kind of like a trailer, if you will, for the programming language. Uh, and then there'll be some instructional videos for you to get started watching so that you can learn how to do all this programming stuff. We're going to start it right away, right today. You're going to do some programming, you know, assuming all the download and stuff works. Uh, it's super important to stay in contact with me, especially if you're having problems. Uh, everyone's going to have problems at some point. There is no way around it. It's just that's how programming goes. I have students, I've been teaching for 14 years, so I have students that are now graduated from university and are working at Google and Microsoft and all these other, you know, big companies and, you know, they've stayed in touch with me and, you know what, guess what, they did the same thing, they had problems too. So you got to make sure you communicate well with me uh, and let me know what your problems are so I can help you out as we go, especially you online folks, when you're on the online side. Uh, it's especially important to be in touch, but if you're face to face as well, that's always important. Okay, so go check out those other links and see what's going on with processing and I hope you have a great time programming. Talk to you soon.